Empower your users with quick actions. Learning objectives. After you've completed this unit, you will be able to describe how actions help your users, describe the difference between object specified and global actions, create an action and add it to a page layout. Quick actions. You know the saying that you should judge someone by the action, that's true in Salesforce. And your users will judge you favorably when you give them access to awesome customized actions. Actions let your users quickly do tasks such as create records, log calls, send emails and more. With custom actions you can make your users navigation and workflow as smooth as possible by giving them quick access to information that's most important. Tip: When thinking about the actions you might want to create, ask your users what they would really wish they could do, for example. You might create an emergency order action for your food service company that allows delivery drivers to immediately order extra or missing food items. Create actions that your users need to drive adoption in your organization and make you a hero to your users. In previous units we glossed over the action section of the object page layout. This unit is where we explore those areas of the page layout and give you a taste of how actions can enhance your user Salesforce experience. Quick actions come in two different flavors, object specified actions. Object specified actions have automatic relationships to other records and let users quickly create or update records, log calls and emails and more in the context of a particular object. For example, you add an object specified action to the account object that creates contacts. If a user creates a contact with that action on the detail page for the ACME account, that new account is associated with ACME. Object specified actions live on the page layout for the object. There are several different types of object specified actions. Object specified create actions create records that are automatically associated with related records. Object specified update a record actions make it easy for users to edit records. You can define the fields that are available for updates. Object specific log a call actions let users enter notes about calls, meetings or other interaction that are related to a specific record. Object specified custom actions invoke a lightning components, flows, visual force pages or canvas app that let users interact with or create records that have a relationship to an object record. If you are new to visual force don't worry. You can learn all about it in another module. For now remember that Visual Force pages allow you to do really cool customizations in your actions. Object specified send email actions available only on cases give users access to a simplified version of the case feed email action in the Salesforce mobile app. You can use a case specific send email action in, class, in Salesforce Classic, Lightning Experience and the Salesforce mobile app. Global actions. You create global actions in a different place and setup. Then you create object specific actions. They are called global actions because they can be put anywhere actions are supported. Use global actions to let users log call details, create or update records or send email all without leaving the page they're on. Global actions live on a special layout of their own known as the global publisher layout. It isn't associated with an object and it populates the global actions menu in Lightning Experience. Users can access the global actions menu by clicking the plus icon in the Salesforce header. If an object page layout isn't customized with actions, then the actions on those object records pages are inherited from the global publisher layout. There are more types of actions than these two, but some of them aren't customizable. We aren't going to explore only object specific and global actions in this unit. 
Note, you might see actions referred to as quick actions in Salesforce. It's true, they are quick and your users will love them. The quick part is just a category and means that the action is either object specified or global and not some kind of Salesforce action. Create an object specific action. Maria wants to give her users an easy way to create energy audit records. She's going to create an object specific action that lets her users create energy audits right from the account records. Because it's an object specific action, the new audit records will be directly tied to the account they have created. There are already some actions in the highlights panel on energy audit records. Those are default actions inherited from default global publisher layout. Maria is going to create a new object specific action added to the account page layout and then customize the action that users see on account records. From setup, click object manager, then click account. So let's do that. Loading very slowly, unfortunately. Open the new tab, see if that's working. Yep, that seems to help. There we go. We have account. Click buttons, a link, and action, then click new action. Maybe it's not showing properly. Let's look. Oh, it's still loading. Connection has turned out. Let's reload. And let me check my internet in the meantime. There we go again. Seems it was an issue on Salesforce side. Anyway, Maria wants to create action to create audit records. So select the create a record action type. It's already selected. Select energy audit as the target object. So this is the type of record that the action creates. Call the action new energy order. This is some text used to free for the action. Okay. And then we are supposed to click on save. After you create the action, you can customize its layout using the action layout editor. I guess that's what's open here now. Like the page layout editor indeed, but for actions. With action layout editor, you can customize the fields the users must populate to complete the action. Just like the page layout editor, the upper part of the action layout editor contains a palette and below it is the action layout. The palette contains fields from the action target button uh, that you can add to the action layout. Each field on this action layout has a red asterisk indicating that it's a required field. 
Quite a few fields added to an action layout by default when you create the action. If you move a required field from an action layout, then users can successfully complete the action. In this case, that means that users wouldn't be able to create the energy audit record. Audit nodes and type of installation are fields that could be populated after the audit record is created. So let's leave it as is and move on to the next step, making the action available to users. Let's see anyway. Drag this here somewhere, the owner, type of installation. So we have done it, and the audit node there, and we save it at an object specific action to a page layout. To make the new energy audit action available to users from an account record, Maria must add the action to the account page layout. Click on page layouts, account layout. A two action section on a page layout. This quick action in the Salesforce class in the Salesforce Classic Publisher section controls which actions appear on the record pages in the Salesforce Classic UI. The Salesforce Mobile and Lightning Experience actions section controls which actions appear on the record pages in both Lightning Experience and in the Salesforce Mobile app. Note if you don't customize the action section of a page layout then the actions you see in the Salesforce app and the lightning experience come from a set of default actions defined by Salesforce. In the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action section click the tool icon to override the defaults. Uh, let's see where that is. Maybe it's not displayed here. Enlarge this a bit. I don't see it here, but maybe it's somewhere else. Oh, I guess it's, that's what I mean. And I'm not really sure like where we are supposed to edit something, but anyway, let's, oh, I guess that's what they mean. Okay. The actions you see when you override the defaults are a combination of the default action for the object plus any custom and standard buttons on the page layout. When the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action section isn't customized, the lightning page for the object takes the custom and standard buttons from their respective button sections on the layout to display on the page. However, once you override the defaults, any standard and custom buttons you want to appear on the lightning page must be included in the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action section as actions. Select mobile and lightning actions in the palette and then drag the new energy order action to the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action section. Okay, where do we have that? So it's there. We are supposed to drag that here somewhere.
tip you can adjust the order of action by dragging the wand yes we have noticed that let's do a bit of cleanup drag this action of the layout and back to the palette okay we close this here thanks Question sharing, change record types, get context syntax. Syntax is here, change record type is there, get context, square. Question is there. Sharing it there. And we get contact is there, and I think we have everything, so let's save it. Excellent! Now Maria's users can easily create an energy audit record that's automatically associated with an account. Her users will see the new action on the page level action menu. Let's take a look. The action in the action menu are shown in the order that they are listed on the page layout. For example, this page layout with new energy action or uh, this new energy audit action looks like this on the account record. So let's have a look. Open Salesforce view. Oh, the sales view. There we go. And let's go to an account, let's go to Gene Point. I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be this one. I already created something like that before, I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's just uh, assume that this is the one. Tell you what did we add there? Let's just assume that it's um, the correct one. Although their actions, email, log, recall, new event, and new task don't show up there because they are associated with activity, they appear under the activity tab. Create a global action. The sales team has asked Maria to create an action that lets users create a campaign no matter where they are in the Salesforce. A global action is an ideal way to do this because the global actions menu appears at the top of every page. Create a global action looks like creating an object specific action except you start on a different page in the setup. From setup click the home tab and your global actions in a quick find box and click global actions. And here we go. Click new action, create a record. Let's 
the campaign and to open them. Parent campaign field. Okay. Edit layout. Mm, this one we are supposed to remove. And at the expected revenue field. Let's put it there. Campaign owner. And save it. Let's have a look there. to campaign there, but let's go down further. Add the global action to the global actions menu. As we have mentioned earlier in the unit, global action live on a special layout of their own. Okay, that's a problem. That's why I didn't see it known as the global publisher layout the global publisher layout populates the global actions menu adding an action to the global actions menu is a lot like adding an action to a record page you simply drag an action from the palette onto the global publisher layout you are in the right place and setup so click publisher layout Click edit. And here we need to override it through the tool icon there, which I just did. Click the mobile lightning actions category in the palette. I did that as well. Drag the new campaign. From the palette, and save it out. Refresh the browser, and then we should see that. And indeed, new campaign. Let's see if we see that here as well. Yes, that works fine. Now we have a quiz for 100 points. 
custom actions help your users by allowing them to create custom records giving them more ways to open view and edit and delete custom records making work feel more like playing a video game and making it fast and easy to interact with information in your organization so Action had your users quickly do tasks such as create records, log calls, send emails, and more. And then quick access to information that's most important. You just quickly create and update records, log calls in the emails and more. It's a tricky one. Say maybe D. Interact with information. Mm -hmm. B. Nothing about opening. That's pretty tricky. Undecided, I would say maybe B, giving them more ways to open, view, edit, and delete custom records. Because this is all custom, more or less, so let's choose B. Don't submit after you've, uh, before you've watched me finish taking the quiz. I probably won't get the full 100 points, not entirely confident, but this most, makes most sense to me. Number two, the main difference between object specific actions and global actions is... Object specific action have automatic relationship with other records and global actions don't. Global actions perform actions outside of Salesforce and object specific actions only 
perform actions inside Salesforce, object specific action, perform actions only on a specific object. And you can use object specific action where, wherever actions are supported in Salesforce. Global actions. Can we put anywhere actions are supported? That's global, not object specific, so. Uh, yeah, so I would say it's C. That sounds about right. Number three, to see a custom object specific action on the palette of the page layout editor, click the layout properties on the page layout editor, select mobile lightning actions in the list of elements, First, customize the action in the lay action layout editor. Select quick actions in the list of element types. Let's have a look here. Let's just try this here in the page. So let's open <coughs> the account object, go to page. A layout, account layout, and now we have the editor. See a custom object specific action on the palette of the page layout editor. So that would be mobile and lightning actions. Quick actions, that sounds about right. I see a new energy audit here. And I don't see any. Okay, I'll put that back. It's both right, quick actions and I think quick actions was not quick part is just a category means that the action is either object specific or global, not some other kind of
Okay. We're just going to select this one. I think quick action was never really mentioned aside from that hint box. Now we're just going to select this one. It's all like a pretty tricky quiz. I think they are both right, so I'm not sure uh, what would happen if I select this one, but yeah, let's see. This is a pretty tricky quiz already. So let's see. Two wrong answers, okay. So you see the right answers here. No, oh, no, you don't see them. It's just that the answers were wrong. We'll go for A then. If it's not A then it's definitely D, but let's go for A. So I was a bit quick there, overlooked that. Okay, and then let's go for D. Really tricky stuff. I don't think A is wrong, it allows um, them, but anyway. So I got the badge, but I got the lowest number of points, but anyway, I finished it. So now you know this is quite a tricky quiz, and I hope you waited until I finished it
you will probably see like different answers and stuff but anyway um, so we have finished the module new batch thank you for watching if you liked it hit the like button if you have comments feedback whether positive or negative I would be happy to hear it if you want to see more videos just hit the subscribe button and there's nothing else just have a good day and good luck with your Salesforce learning.